Hi guys! This time I will show you how to cook the best chicken ever. It's a professional skill that you can easily do at home, so please try it! And I will also show you how to make teriyaki sauce to make the most delicious chicken even more delicious. Follow the instructions in the video and your house will instantly become a Japanese restaurant. Then, いってらっしゃい! 1 tablespoon sugar, 2 tablespoon sake, 2 tablespoon mirin, 2 tablespoon soy sauce. Mix lightly. If you spread the chicken, you can see that there are parts without meat and parts with thick meat like this. Make the thickness of the meat uniform so that uneven heating does not occur during heating. Remove any tendons or cartridge, if any. It is easy to discover cartridge by touching the entire flesh with the hand. Sprinkle with 0.8% salt by weight of meat. It is said that the salt concentration that humans find most palatable is between 0.8% and 1%. Sprinkle with pepper as well. That's all the preparation. It's easy, isn't it? Add oil to a cold pan. Stretch the chicken skin tightly and place skin side down on the pan. Let's make it. Heat over medium heat. Immediately after heating, press firmly onto pan. By pressing firmly against the pan, the surface of the skin can be finished flat and beautiful. It is hard to keep pressing the crust until the crust side is cooked, so here is an easier way. Use a baking paper and a pan instead of a spatula. Place a baking paper over the chicken and place the pot on top. Cook skin side on about 70% cooked. Since the meat is not heated directly, damage during heating can be minimized and the finish will be juicy. Cook for about 7 minutes. Do you know what teriyaki means in teriyaki chicken? Teriyaki is a cooking method of Japanese cuisine that is cooked while applying a sweet sauce based on soy sauce. The name comes from the fact that the sugar content of the sauce makes the surface of the ingredients glossy. This gloss is called peri in Japanese cuisine. By the way, this teriyaki sauce sold overseas has a completely different taste from the Japanese teriyaki and is different from the teriyaki of Japanese cuisine. After heating for a while, fat will come out from the skin, so remove it with the kitchen paper. The fat that comes out of the skin contains the sauce of the odor. It is now brown. Cook until the color darkness a little more. Do you see that the edge of the meat have become a little whitish? Let's turn it over at this time. Look how deliciously crispy the skin is. Cook lightly and remove from the pan. Wipe off the fat with kitchen paper. At this time, do not remove the brown ones attached to the pan. This is umami with condensed amino acids. Add the sauce and dissolve the umami. If it starts to bubble, it is proof that the sauce has become thicker. When the sauce is simmering, turn the meat side down and allow it to soak up the sauce as it cooks. Cut skin side down. Serve on a plate and pour over the sauce. Itadakimasu! Looks delicious! Crispy skin, tender meat. It's real teriyaki chicken. Teriyaki chicken sauce I showed is the basis 
of Japanese cuisine. I have showed the perfect ratio of teriyaki sauce, so please try the real Japanese taste. It's delicious as it is, but my recommendation is to sprinkle Kyoto's Kuroshijimi. Unlike common shijimi, it is very aromatic and stimulating spiciness. Even a little sprinkle will change the taste. The scent and the spiciness of kuroshijimi tightens the taste. The stimulating spiciness makes teriyaki chicken even more delicious. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to our channel.